Hello and welcome back to my Magic 3 Isles of Terra. So we're outside the Temple Greenleaf and let's heal our two unfortunate um, hirelings. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, given that it took like three days, yeah, we're actually pretty close to day 60. So I expect to get to another throne quite soon. Alright, so, um, I want to go back to my Lloyd's Beacon and give them the two remaining things to drink. Uh, light. Yes, these things. Drink the moose juice. Yep, eradicated. And you need to drink it too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that was pretty much everything. And if I am correct, we should now be able to unlock the two power arms. If I can get there at any point in time. Sheesh, that's a lot of corridors. Yes, these things. Okay, let's see. What is the field deactivation code? I'm also not sure how you're supposed to figure this out, but the answer is John Wen Canigan. Your code is recognized. The King's ultimate power orbs have been released from their stasis. Hmm, very interesting. As you can see, looks like this guy is actually a bit mechanical. So the Temple of Mu has some sort of connection to the outside world, looks like. Very interesting. A king's ultimate power orb sits cradled in its altar stand, a faint glow and distant hum radiating from its prolex center. Got one. And got another one. It didn't even ask me if I want to take it, it just gives it to us. Okay, well, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> so, if... Well... Hmm. Nah, I want to play it safe and give these two orbs to... Zealot. Okay, it's 2pm. Well, let's go to Zealot's place and give these things to him. Because, yeah, that's the only person who I did not give orbs to. I'm pretty sure nothing bad will happen if I also give these to someone else, because I think seven is what they need to win against everyone else. But just to be safe... I think that's the travel agents, actually. Alright, so the place is up north. Chaos Pass. Hmm. I don't even remember that, actually. Not sure how chaotic is this pass, since it's not that close to the King Chaotic's place. <laughs> but okay, let's... No. Joke of the day, where do goblins go when they get sick? To the witch doctor. Uh, I don't really get it, but okay. Zealot, King Righteous. Truly, this is a despairing time in this great land. The powers of the evil one, rallied under the banner of the flaming sword, are ever, are ever gaining strength. 
and advantage is hard to be gained, for the King Chaotic chooses to undermine any advances of mine or my foes. Mostly your foes, because he has two power orbs. <laughs> the powerful gift you bear is most welcome aid in the battle. Locked in the orb is the secret to control the will of men. Interesting. You can control the will of men with the power orbs. Control best place in the hands of the equitable and fair-minded. Yeah, huh, interesting. I don't really know what the power orbs really do. And how they work in this game. But I guess we'll just have to believe... Zealot. And... Uh, yeah, so now I want to go... Down here and back into to the town and into the uh, the inn to get the other person back. Although I'm not too sure what to do with these items. Probably leave them here for now. Although that grand axe I want to take. The gem of charging is pretty good too. Hmm. But I guess I'll leave it here because I won't need two recharging items right now. And this works 24 hours a day. Good to know. Can I remove him and take him? Yeah. They're still both liches. But hey, inventory space, yay. <laughs> okay, now it's day 56, so we do still have some time. So let's make use of this time by going to another place. Uh, yes, actually, I want to go to... Oops, that's the wrong place. I want to go to Swamp Town. Then... Here, let's go outside. Actually, while I'm here, I might as well cast things. So, cast Lotation. And... I think that's it, because by the time I reach the destination, everything else will wear off. Okay, so I want to reach this. Yes, so it did wear off. Levitation, Wizard Eye. Light. The unmistakable aroma of death hovers thick as steam around the dungeon door. Oh, thick as steam. Enter? Yes. Entering the Tomb of Terror. <laughs> Not sure what that is. But, let's start the end game. Well,. I mean, the beginning of the end of the game, not the end game sequence. Um, but still, the start of the end game by assaulting Von Emosh. Corex notes on Tome of Terror. Nestled in Phantom Peaks, the Tome of Terror is the final resting place of the ancient beasts known as the Shadow Dwellers. 
a curse shall fall upon those who disturb their eternal slumber. Fon Amosh, master of the walking dead, makes his home deep within this tomb. Any who would face the Vampire King must first defeat his entire army of undead soldiers. Indeed. And where are we anyway? This is pretty strange. This is the exit, right? Ahead of you is a gateway to the outdoors. Leave this catastrophic catacomb? No. <laughs> and there it's danger somewhere. What is that anyway? Actually, that might be a skeleton. So, one way or another, let's say first. Day 56, still have quite a bit of time. Okay, so it's all skeletons. And nothing else, apparently. And there's nothing there. There's a door. Hmm. More skeletons! Not very hard to deal with, but these are only the starting troops. And here we have ghouls! Uh oh. Still, we're fast enough. Also, how about you cast Nature's Cure? And nothing else here, so probably on the other side we will have ghouls as well. Yes. Interesting cells here. And here we have cursed fools, looks like. Or. Are these zombies? Maybe these are zombies. Yeah, these are zombies. Still nothing inside. the Corex notes. This is probably uh, something that is required to do anyway. So, no big deal. Okay, let's see what's here. A ghoul. Ghouls. Right. More ghouls here. Oh, focus on the ghoul. Everyone else is worthless. Generally, I'm not really sure if I can take on Fon Amosh right now. I'd rather go and train before that. The problem is I don't want to miss day 60. Ugh. Tent quests are really bad. Oh 
Oh no, it's the skeleton army. Whatever shall I do? Okay, there are even more skeletons here. Well, I'll take their gems, why not? <laughs> and what is here? This is empty? Okay, that does not sound right, but whatever. A lot of ghouls. Hmm. I could perhaps do some spell here, but then again, they're just ghouls, so should be okay. Especially since we have arrows. They're too slow to do anything. Fortunately, the traps are quite bad. Okay, next up. Again, an empty cell. Huh. Really odd. Oh no, zombies! Yep, and more zombies. Ahead. Huh. I wonder what that does. At first, there's another seemingly empty place. It is empty. That's kind of strange. Like, why would they have something like that? Okay, anyway, let's see what the head has to say. A curse shall fall upon any who defile the tombs of the Shadow Dwellers. so far, okay. But let's be careful about that. Huh. Really now? This place actually has loading screens. This is so huge that it requires loading screens. Beware the guardians of the sacred vaults. Their appetite for the precious stones is voracious. Precious stones. Yeah. What? Monstrous apparition seeps out of the floor and passes through the party, reducing some of your gems to dust. Uh, 
Okay, that is stupid. But good to know. That means I can go deposit my gems and go back. So, how many gems? Oh, actually, that's not a whole lot of gems that we lost. But still, I don't want to risk it. So, let's deposit our surplus gems. So I probably should put a Lloyd's Beacon here. And I still have rotation, yes. Okay, and it's 11. I should be good. If we're fast enough. Okay, it's one, so I just need to get back to Fountainhead soon enough, and I will be able to deposit things that I don't need. Maybe I should deposit my gold too, because who knows of that place. I don't really need gold right now, and once I do need gold, I will need a lot more than that. And gems... Four, seven, four... And then withdraw... 167. Okay, so I have 22 million in the bank now. Pretty cool. So I get 20... 220,000 gold per... whenever they give us gold. And that's... pretty much like a very good chest. Okay, so against those kinds of things, I probably want to try and cast Power Shield. If I have sufficient magic to do that. Okay, who has the lowest HP? The highest HP, I mean. It's Malcolm. Okay, so Malcolm gets it the last and the second to last is Archer himself. Okay. So, power shield, power shield, power shield, power shield. Okay, I have enough for everyone. That is highly useful. Because the power shield is plus 32, so we will have protection from 32 points of damage. And hopefully that also works on magic damage type too. Also that... okay, I still have a good amount of gems. And let's see what happens. Hi there! Phantoms. I think they are the ones that age you, but since they're not exactly very fast at doing that, well, it's fine. Alright, I need to jump here. They are highly resistant to physical damage. Okay, these things look like something we've seen before, and that's why I don't really want to open this. And I want to jump over this again. And how are our jumps? They're fine. Let's 
Let's just recast nature skewer. Looks like the damage caused is still a bit too much to protect. Oh no, it's a ghost. Oh no. Let's try using Holy Word. Holy Word. Holy Word. Yeah, that's not working really. So let's cast. Disintegrate, maybe? Yeah, that worked. And another one of those. Thankfully, I don't think it aged fall. So we're still fine. Jump. No, oh, and I got a ring. What sort of ring? Freezing ring. Again. So that was that. Um, hmm. What awaits us here, I wonder? Also, a nature score. That's a lot of damage, wow. Oh, really? 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 Well, go get it over the again. You are annoying. So how about you get a fireball? They are not impressed. Alright, fine. How about... Well, I don't really want to... To risk it, so that's really the only word. And turn him dead. So let's just hold the word them again. Holy word is supposed to kill everything in one shot, and yet it's not very reliable at all. And jump. Okay. I think we're running low on spell points at this point. Hmm, yeah. I suppose we can still go to one more place, but after that I'll have to get back and get everyone back up to shape. And it will probably be 57 once I'm done. Things are definitely getting a lot more tricky now. Jump. Now I want 
wonder if I can teleport through this so I wouldn't have to do things like that. But I highly doubt it. But let's try anyway. Oh, really? Okay. I am fine with that. And... Holy word. Oh, so we are still good with gems. Again. And we even got the gems back. Uh, you people are annoying. But they don't seem to even do any damage because our shields just... went surprisingly well. Though now I'm a bit low on spell points, but I think I can still go to one more. And once that's done, I'll go and uh, recharge everything. So, once again, teleport to that's a lot of ghosts. That's not very good at all. Hmm. Okay, that works fairly well. Okay, that is dangerous now. I don't have enough spell points to do much of anything. So, I hope this will work. Yes, this did work. And got a padded armor. Steel padded armor. Eh. Uh, eh. Oh no, all the Reapers. Jump right into them. And you can turn them dead. Yep, that is fine. Well, that was that, and I guess this is where I'll finish this. And next time we will continue going through the place and hopefully also visit another throne. So see y'all then. Later.